All right, so let's solve a problem which appeared in JME in 2022. In this question, we have been given an expression sine square 10 degrees into sine 20 and so on and so forth equals to alpha minus 1 by 16 times sine 10 degree. Then we have to find the value of 16 plus alpha inverse or alpha raised to the power minus 1. So 16 plus 1 by alpha is what we are supposed to find out. So, so everything has to be converted in sine 10 form, this entire thing. Okay, so let's write this down first. So this is sine square 10 degrees into sine 20 into sine 40 into sine 50 into sine 70. So we start writing these numbers into different ways. As in like sine 70, I can think of this as sine of 90 degree minus 20 degree and that I could write it as cos 20 degrees, right? Why did I do it? Because this cos 20 degree can be clubbed with this sine 20. Similarly, this sine 50 as well could be written as sine of 90 degree minus 40 degrees, which I can write it as cos 40 degree. Okay. So this entire expression will now change to sine square 10 degree into sine 20 into cos 20. So sine 20 into cos 20 and then this will change to sine 40 into cos 40. So now again this thing and this thing if you see this is sine a cos a then I can multiply and divide by 2 or I can write it as sine 40 by 2. So what we are saying is that if 2 sine a oops if 2 sine a 2 sin a into cos a equals to sin 2a, then you can say that sin a into cos a is sin 2a by 2. So this is what we will do here. So this is sin square 10 degree and this I can write it as sin 40 degree sin 2a by 2 and then I can write this as sin of 80 degree by 2 again. So this will be 1 by 4 sine square 10 degrees and this will be sine 40 and this could be written as again sine 80 degree I can again write it as cos 10 degrees same way whatever I was doing here. So this can be written as sine 40 into cos 10. Now what can I do? So this is sine square 10 degrees right. Um, so again we can we want only one sine 10, so I'll just try to change this sine 10 and cos 10 again here. So I'll take sine 10 degree and then I'll make this as sine 10 degree and into cos 10 degree and then this will be sine 40 degrees. So this sine 10 into cos 10 again I can write it as sine 20 by 2. So this is sine 10 degrees into sine 20 degree by 2 into sin 40 degree. So every time I'm using this expression sin a into cos is sin 2a by 2. All right, now we've got till here. Now again, we've got this. So this is 1 by 8 and we have got sin 10 degree, which we don't want to disturb. And then we have got sin 20 into sin 40, right? So what do we do with this? Now sin 20 into sin 40 is there, right? How about again writing it as 2 sin 20 degree into sin 40 degree and then whole thing I can divide by 2. So now this is 2 sin a into this is now 2 sin a into sin b. So this is 1 by 16 times sin 10 degree and this I can write it as um, 2 sin a sin b is cos a minus b cos a minus b which is 20 degree plus 40 degree a minus b right so minus 20 degree minus 40 degree sorry and minus cos a plus b 20 degree plus 40 degree right so this will become 1 by 16 sine 10 degree and this will become cos 20 and this will become cos 60 right so this again can be written as 1 by 16 sine 10 degree this part and this will be cos 20 degree and then cos 60 I can write it as 1 by 2 okay so till here we reach 
right so now we'll still have to keep going looks like so sin 10 degree so now we will multiply this will become sin 10 degree into cos 20 degree and this will be minus half sin 10, 10 degrees right now this part again is sin a into cos b so we will again multiply and divide by 2 so let's say this is 1 by 2 times 2 sin 10 degree into cos 20 degrees Okay, and then mm, this is half sine 10 degrees. Then this will be 1 by 16, 1 by 2, 2 sine cos b, right? So we'll write it as sine. So 2 sine cos b will be what? If you write 2 sine cos b, right? You can write it as sine of a plus b minus sine of a minus b, right? So that is what we'll write. Sine A plus B is 20 plus 30, which is 30 degrees, minus sine 10 minus 20, which will be minus 10 degrees. And this will be minus half sine 10 degrees. Right? So this will be plus half sine 10 degree, right? Um, so we will have 1 by 16 into 1 by 2 into we will have sine 30 degree as 1 by 2 and this is gonna be minus sine a minus b right so minus sine a minus b will give you plus sine 10 degrees and this will be again there is 1 by 2 already there right so this will be 1 by 32 sine 10 degrees okay um, so from here, what do we get? We get uh, 1 by 64, 16, 64. And this I get it as 1 by 16 to 32 degree. Okay. So minus 1 by 32 degree. So looks like there is a sign problem because this is getting cancelled out. This should be plus. Sorry about that. Yeah, this should be plus. Plus then this will be minus over here. And this is minus. So this is minus over here. Right. And now this part will become 1 by 64 and this part turned out to be minus 1 by 16 sine 10 degree. So 1 by 32, 1 by 32 if you add, uh, it will become 2 by 32 which is 1 by 16. Now it is coming as an expression what we wanted, alpha minus 1 by 16 sine 10 degree. So alpha turns out to be 64, right? Um, 1 by 64 either. So 1 by alpha will be 64, right? So now 64 and plus 16, that will be actually equal to 80. So that is what is my answer, all right? So yeah, that's all for this question. If you've got any queries, do ask me in the comment section below and I'll be happy to answer the queries. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a good day.